And the Prime Minister took off for his maiden visit to the United States as Prime Minister. But first, he took a shot at selling India as an investment destination to the world. And it's a significant initiative because it comes in the wake of the recent Supreme Court ruling deallocating coal blocks, which might serve to weaken investor faith in India's systems and processes. This is the step of the land. This is the step of the land. Make in India. भारतीयों के लिए हैं एफ डी आई फर्स्ट डेवलप इंडिया एक तरफ लुक ईस्ट दूसरी तरफ लिंक वेस्ट हमने इन दोनों को जोड़ करके हम ऐसी मध्यस्थ जगह पर खड़े हैं कि हम एक ग्लोबल विजन के साथ अपने आर्थिक संरचना को एक नए प्लेटफॉर्म पर खड़ा कर सकते हैं जहां लोकतंत्र है जहां डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड है जहां विपुल मात्रा में डिमांड है ये तीनों एक साथ किसी भूभाग पर उपलब्ध हो तो पूरे ग्लोब पर अकेला हिंदुस्तान है जहां तीनों एक साथ मौजूद है उसे इफेक्टिव गवर्नेंस चाहिए सरकार होने से काम होता नहीं है सरकार होने का एहसास होना चाहिए उस दरवाजे पर जाएं तो उसको लगना चाहिए कि हां ये जगह है जहां मेरा समस्या का समाधान होगा या यहां से मुझे रास्ता मिलेगा कि मुझे किस रास्ते से कहां पहुंचना है उसका भरोसा टूट गया था पता नहीं यार ये सरकार कब क्या नीति बनाएगी कब कौन सी नीति बदल देगी पता नहीं कब सीबीआई या धपकेगी अ कैंडिड प्राइम मिनिस्टर वो इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज हु and foreign investors to make India a global manufacturing hub. Describing Make in India as a mission, Modi was clear about the fundamental and his Chuck review goal. Rojgaar ke avsar jitne jyada badhenge, putna hi purchasing power badhne wala hai. Hemari economy generate hone wali hai. Hem kahenge, yeh ITI aap le lije hai, aapko jis prakar ka main power chahiye, yehi locally aap usko train kijiye, uske parivar ke taakat badhegi, uski kharit sakti badhegi, economy aapne aap generate ho jayegi. But despite the slick and very unsarkari-like presentation, what exactly are the changes? For starters, on the Make in India website, investors can write how much they'd like to invest. And a senior officer would get back to them in a maximum response time of 72 hours. To boost the manufacturing sector of the country, the Prime Minister today launched the mega Make in India campaign here at Vigyan Bhavan with an aim to increase the share of manufacturing to India's GDP from the current 15% to 25%. And the Prime Minister said that the government has to work with the industry to be able to achieve this target. But roadblocks are yet to be addressed. Big policy changes are still awaited. And big Indian and foreign investors are worried. They want land laws to be more favourable. The government has yet to start work on this. Labour changes pushed by the Modi government so far benefit small and medium scale firms. We need to focus on the ease of doing business. That is making rules, regulations and decision making simple, quick and transparent. We need to reform our labour laws to ensure flexibility without sacrificing an appropriate safety net for our employees. Our government is amending a number of labor laws. So we have made a beginning today. We will continue to keep together and work together. Potential investors in the United States where he's headed are worried about India's tension with the WTO and why the government did not cancel the retrospective tax outright. I would have liked him to go farther and, and, and say we're, we're actually making it illegal to do it as opposed to it will still be legal, we just won't do it. Uh, we are not there yet. Uh, the Prime Minister showed what has been done. A lot has been done already. The right signals are being given to the market. Media needs to be patient. I think industry also needs to be a bit patient. The PM launching the high voltage Make in India campaign on a day when he leaves for the United States of America, where again business is expected to dominate and be center stage. The government wants to send a clear signal that India is ready to do business. And while clearly a lot needs to change on the ground, the big question is, will this be enough to try and draw in that much needed investment? In New Delhi with Hina Gambhir and Sunil Prabhu, Siddharth Pandey for NDTV.